Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing another shop mustache. I haven't shot my stash in two weeks, you guys. Did you guys miss these? What do you think? Should I be doing them every two weeks? Or do you guys like them weekly still? I think you guys are going to vote for weekly. So yeah, let me know down in the comments section below. And also look at this. I got a new acrylic case. I saw this at Marshalls and I've been eyeing this just because I've seen a lot of influencers that do like shop my stash videos that have this type of acrylic case. And I I really like it because it has like three compartments that are pretty big the bottom one's like the biggest and then you get this little one up here so yeah i like it it was thirty dollars i got it at marshall's and i do find that the like the drawers are thinner than the one the one that i had before but overall i still do like it so we are gonna go ahead and shop my stash and yeah we're gonna go through products i picked last few weeks ago to go and then we'll be packing We'll be picking new products to use this week, so if you like Shop My Stash, then definitely continue watching. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe, and let's just go ahead and jump right in. So the first product I have down here, this doesn't fit. This is like super big, this acrylic case, but this doesn't fit, so it was living in the back. In my restroom, of course, you guys should know this already, that um, this stuff that I use for Shop My Stash and like Project Pans live in my restroom, so I can reach for it. That's where I get ready in the mornings for work. So um, the palette I had used for the last couple weeks was this Morphe 25C Hey Girl Hey palette. And here is what the inside looks like. I really love this palette. It's like definitely my kind of shades. I love like the red-brown shades in my crease. I have used this palette for a look I created for Instagram. I just really like this palette. Morphe shadows are super nice and pigmented. This is definitely up my alley. I love the color scheme in here. Again, the red, brown kind of shades are definitely my kinds of shades. I'm going to put that away. And then I also wanted to talk about this. This is the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. They're supposed to help exfoliate, tone, and brighten, and it comes with 60. I did get this from First Aid Beauty and Octoly, and as you can see there, I have used quite a bit of these pads here. Um, They do have kind of like a rigid on one side, and then the other side is kind of like flat, and I do like them. They're really nice and moist, and I feel like they do a really good job. You know, they're supposed to help to exfoliate and tone and brighten, and I feel like it does. I feel like my skin is looking a little more brighter. I think it's like a good one-stop shop, you know, like especially when those days that I don't want to do like, you know, take my makeup off, do my toner, exfoliate, do my toner, apply my moisturizer, blah, 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 you know, this is definitely like a three in one. And I did have like a little travel pack that I took with me on my trip when I went to California a few months ago and I really enjoyed it. I like again that it's easy, like when we're on vacation, we don't really, or I don't really do my like full skincare routine, even though I take everything with me, like all the steps, but I really liked this, you know, I take my makeup off, wash my face and then I I use this to kind of um, just rub it all on my face and again it exfoliates and tones which kind of works like an essence for me as well and yeah I really like it for those like days that I don't feel like doing my full skincare routine but I also have used this in place of like a toner so again I do like this so I definitely recommend it I do see like a difference on my skin and I like it so up here we have two products it's like way up higher now i tried to push my um tripod back so you guys can see like everything but um these two products are up there that were part of this round shot my stash the first one is this wet and wild photo focus primer water i do like this i think it's nice to kind of refresh the skin and also prime the skin i do find that it kind of is a little tacky not a lot but i always did prime my skin with something else before I spray this on my face but I do like it. I'm almost out of it but I do kind of want to put it away and pick something else. This is the Revolution um, Face Fast Base Stick Foundation in F6. This shade's too light for me. I used it a few times but it's way too light for me. You can tell my skin was white compared to my body. So I was just using like my Project Pan products. I have the Makeup Forever that's in my Project Pan and then the um, you can barely see it right there. The CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream I've been using as well. I kind of want to take this out or like put it in a different packaging because it's about out. And every time I sprayed my face to set, um, it was just like having drops on my face and it was not cute it was removing some of my makeup so i need to figure out if i'm gonna put it in a bottle to really finish it off but pretty much done with this so i am going to pick a face mist today 
and that's all that's up there and then down here this side is pretty much like my lip stuff to hydrate my lips and my like tweezers my pimple popper things to pop my pimples my my lipstick remover like anything that i would use at night it's over here and i have this cold sore thing because i got cold sores my lips have been super chapped and i could feel when a cold sore's coming and i just was using this applying it for like two days and then it went away which was nice because those cold sores are not cute when they come through so for a liner this week i guess i picked the inglot gel liner i used this a couple of times and then both times i used it was dried out i need to buy the dural line um, stuff to activate this again but we're gonna put that away for lip products i use these um by color pop the lippy sticks in weekender and cami you can see those shades and then this one's like a red shade as well by bite beauty this is in the shade red velvet i use that i also use this a lot um this is the Too faced got peach lipstick it smells like peaches a super beautiful like corally there's a hair in my lipstick, you guys, but I'm pretty sure that's mine. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, we're going to put these lippies away. For liner this week, we had two cold pencils. Um, we had the Mr. Right Now by The Balm, which was like a skin tone, and then this bright blue in Chaos by Urban Decay. We're going to put both of these away. For mascara, I actually, oops, I had the Thrive Cosmetics, the... Um, What's it called? The tubing mascara. That one's almost out. I think I'm just going to get rid of that. And then this one was transferring on my lower lash line. So I'm going to declare this as well. This is the tar tardiest mascara. And again, it does transfer on my lower lash line. It ain't cute. So I am going to get rid of this. Uh, for brows, I think I'm going to leave this in. Um, I'm almost done with both. But this one, that's all I have left. So I definitely want to finish it off. I've just been lining my lids with the Brow Wiz, and then this one, I've been filling it in with the Brow Definer, and again, I only have that much left, so I think I'm going to leave those in, kind of finish those off, and then I might as well leave this in here as well. This is a Benefit Gimme Brow. The ABH Curl Brow Gel will live in there as well. I am going to take the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is really nice. My eyeshadow lasted all day. didn't have any issues. Second drawer, I had this face powder. really like this face powder. This is by Kat Von D. The setting, Locket Setting Powder in Translucent. Super nice. It sets my makeup very nicely. It looks pretty much airbrushed. Not like super flawless or anything, but it looks nice. So we're going to put that away. I used two primers this week. The Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I love. And then the Master... Maybelline Master Blur Stick in Light Medium I like as well. It's kind of like the Milk Makeup Blur Stick, but this one's for light medium skin tones. You can tell that it has some color. So if you are pale, I wouldn't pick up light medium. They do have a translucent, I believe, or like a clear one. So I would check those out if you're interested. For highlight, I used this a few times. This is the Wet n Wild I'm So Lit Loose Highlighter. Super pretty, like a gold type of highlight. For concealer, I had this Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer in 2W. This is okay. It's not my favorite. It's not the greatest, but it's not bad either. It does the job. I do find that I have to like put it on my under eyes and then I let it set for a little bit just so it's kind of a little more opaque than when I blend it out immediately. But we are going to put that away. I'm trying to go through these stuff fast because... I don't want it to be super long. Those two are Project Pan products. Actually, these ones are as well. Um, since I did have the stuff for two weeks, I was focusing on Project Pan items the past week, but I didn't use this a lot, so I am going to leave these in there. So Project Pan items I'm trying to leave in here so I could use them also. And this is also in Project Pan, so that'll be staying. Down here, I have two blush palettes. This one's the Wet n Wild Pac-Man High, High Score Blush Palette and if you guys saw my first impression it was like broken when i opened it but this one doesn't show up on me a lot like it's more like a blush topper um these two are okay this one's super nice i was mixing the matte shade with like one of these shimmery ones but this one for sure didn't show up on me like 
a lot like as a blush so i used it more as a blush topper and there was a day where i just used that as blush and highlight because it just creates like that glow it was really nice but we're gonna put this away the other blush palette i had was this one by elf this was kind of customized because i have the light and then this one and then deep and then i just kept two of the deep shades and two of the light shades and created my own little custom elf blush palette i like it i like the color scheme i like these like three shades but super pigmented we're gonna put that away as well i also use the norvina palette a lot the shimmer shades anyways and here is what that looks like i love the shimmer shades in here the matte shades are kind of bleh like i just felt like they were blah i don't know i was using more the morphe palette um for like matte shades but the i was using the norvina palette for the shimmers and then i did use this smashbox times casey home spotlight palette in pearl i like it i'm not in love with it but i think it's pretty and here is what it's inside we're gonna put that away as well I finally use my mac eyeshadow this is an extra dimension shadow in c warship um this wasn't like super like smooth or anything i applied it on my lid one day but we're going to put that away i didn't use the stila glitter so we can leave that in there i did i did use this pixie um liquid fairy lights in rose gold super pretty we're gonna put this away and down here i have a project pan product which is this and then these two aren't project pans so we can take those out so this one's by jeffree star cosmetics the peach goddess can frost this is super beautiful definitely a favorite of mine this past month how beautiful is this super pretty it's like a peachy pink very unique to my collection i don't buy a lot of like peachy pink highlights super pretty and then i had this wet and wild contouring palette in Cough caramel toffee and i didn't really use that to set my under eyes i was using the bronzer a lot but i like it it's only five dollars i like the dulce de leche one better than this one but it does the job but we're gonna put both of these away and we are ready to go ahead and shop my so stash. we are gonna go into our new makeup drawer do not judge me guys <laughs> this has gone up a lot since you last have seen it i've been hauling stuff so it's time to use it and i've last week or past couple weeks i've been focusing on the older products in my collection but we're definitely going to take a lot of blushes this week both of these are by cover fx monochromatic blush duos i have soft peach and spiced cinnamon definitely going to whoops use these look how pretty this is we're taking this and we're also going to take this one as well this one's in spiced cinnamon i heard these are super pigmented so hopefully they're not too bad whoa that was did you guys see that it kind of went over since they're not flat i also want to take this highlighter that i got from marshall's this is the laura geller baked blush and brighten in fruit punch these i only have one of these highlight um blushes that we got in boxycharm which was tropic hues again this is in fruit punch and i really liked it and this is a really pretty color so we are going to take this as well and what else what else we have another blush right here should i take that as well that's like a lot of blush though right we're definitely going to take the highlight cookie by benefit super beautiful i feel like this is going to be a little too pale for me but i'm sure we can make it work whoa that was like super like buttery so we'll take that as well i also bought this like a few weeks ago from marshall's it was 29.99 Maybe we can take this as well. This is a Glam Glow Glow Powder. I'm just going to throw boxes on the floor. But this is what the packaging looks like. And then here's what the inside looks like. This is going to be too pale. I don't know. I guess we'll mix shades and make them match me, right? The packaging is really soft. It has like the NARS packaging. Oh, down here I have the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Foundation. This is a medium to full coverage foundation. It has high pigment, matte finish, buildable, lightweight, long wear. I have mine in the shade 116 Light Medium. I did open it up when I got it today. And the shade feels like it's a little off, so I might need to mix it with like my LA Girl uh, Pro Pigment. Um, the, uh, the warm one that turns foundations warm. Um, but I'm going to take this for foundation this week as well. What else should we take up in here? 
So I'm going to mix both of these concealers, I think. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Radiant Concealer. I got it at Marshalls for $8.99 in the shade Medium Nude. I feel like I need high coverage, but I heard that this isn't full coverage, whereas the Benefit Boing is, but this is too light for me, so we might have to mix both. So here are both of them. As you can see, the Benefit's way lighter, so we'll be mixing both of these together. I feel like I should be doing like a get ready with me trying new products out just because I have so much. And I think I'm actually going to use this too because I've had this for over a month now, I think. I haven't even used it yet. This is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover with SPF 50. This is full coverage too, it says. Wow. Um, in the shade 128 Warm Nude. So we'll take this as well. Let me throw all my stuff on the floor. This is a primer. I wonder if I should try this. I got this at Marshalls too, but I feel like I, if I opened it, because I opened a lot of this stuff to make sure it's not swatched. If I had opened this, I probably wouldn't have bought it. Because look at this. This was $7 for this little thing right here. But I actually have heard really good things about this primer. So I guess we can test it out. This is the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 30. And yeah... I don't think I would have picked it up if I actually opened and see how big this was, but we can go ahead and take that as well. And what else should we use up in here? We can take this. This is the Buxom Full On Lip Cream in the shade Hot Toddy. This smells so good. I got this in my Play by Sephora. And it's just kind of like a Your Lips But Better, but it's a gloss. Really nice. We'll take that. How many blushes do I have? One, two, three. Should I take this one too? Why not? It's kind of like an orangey type of blush. I don't know that. I can smell the lipstick, you guys. It smells like cotton candy. It smells super good. Maybe we can take this for primer as well. This is the Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. This is, I got it for free with an Ulta purchase. Look how small this is. We can take this as well. Why not? Because for my new makeup drawer, I think that's it from up here. I don't know. I'm on the fence whether I should take this or not. No, there's too many blushes, so we'll save this for next This time. is my new palette drawer, and I am actually going to take this. This is uh, my friend Jasmine gave this to me for my birthday. My birthday was in July 27th, so I have an excuse. You know, it was the end of July, so it's been a month that I've had this. So we're going to test this out finally. And this is the Art Library Flamboyant palette. So it's a lot of warm tone shades. I haven't used like fresh MAC shadows in a while, but I'm excited to try this out. We're going to use another palette as well. I've been wanting to use this too by Sugar Pill, but it's like a pastel palette. This is not very like uh, for everyday use. Not really. You know what? I'm going to take this never give up your daydream i recently hauled this and i was telling you guys that i bought an inner corner highlighting palette because it's all like pastel -y type of inner corner highlighting shades so i definitely want to take this what do i need with this let's see it's a lot of orangey and reds and i have a brown maybe i don't need anything else maybe we'll be okay i don't know i kind of want to save this with this palette though Definitely want to create a look soon with that. Hmm. Maybe we can take this as well because it's browns, but it's not like reds like this one is, right? I don't know. What do we think? Hmm. It's a lot of browns, right? Hmm. I'm going to take. I don't know. You know what? I should take this one too because I haven't used this in a while. We can take this, because these ones are kind of different tones. We can take these two palettes this week. And I wanted to use this, but we'll save this to use with these two together for next week. For mm -hmm. setting spray, I'm going to be taking my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I don't want to move my camera just so you guys can see me pick this. So I'm going to take that. I do need a mascara, so we're going to go in here. And let's go ahead and pick this milani highly rated mascara i don't need brows i do need an eyeshadow primer so let's take this one by cover girl this is the lid lock up i haven't used this i got this from influencer but we'll take these two 
primer, we don't need primer, but we do need powder. So for powder, I want to take this right here. This is the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. I just have mine in translucent. And yeah, I want to take this for powder this week. Bronzer, I don't have a bronzer. What should we use for bronzer? Let's see. I think I want to take this Milani one. Oh, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. Uh, Milani bronzer in 02 Sunkissed. So we'll take this. Blush, we don't need blush. We don't need highlights. Let me pick a liner real quick. Can you see me? My foundation's been on all day, so it kind of looks like crap. We're going to take the Benefit Roller Liner for black liner this week. And I want to use this one by LA Girl, the Fresh Shockwave Liner. So we'll take that as well. I'm kind of in a hurry because my daughter's at a birthday party and I need to go pick her up. So we'll take this one as well. This is a lip liner by LA Girl, but I'm going to use it in my waterline in the shade Pop. So here is everything I'm going to be taking this week. My foundation's up here. And then you guys saw where I put everything else at. And I did pick two lipsticks off of camera. I picked the ABH Seraphine Liquid Lipstick. And then this one's Chocolate Wasted by Dose of Colors. So those are all the products I'm going to be taking this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this shop my stash. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.